<laughs> hey, thanks, Michelle. Dad blogger Rich Bracken from EnrichYourSoul.org is back with us with a very, very neat story. Uh, with New Year's fast approaching, a lot of people have weight goal loss, including yours truly. Well, believe it or not, this man right here, would you believe it? He lost over 100 pounds and has kept it off for 20 years, and he is sharing his story with us this morning. Great to see you again, Good to see Rich. you again, Nick. Always, uh, always enjoy our conversations. And this one, looking at you, never in a, in a million years would I have ever guessed that you have lost 100 pounds. Right, and that's, that's the tricky thing is that people that meet me now or, or, or get to know me now don't realize that I have that background. And you know, I grew up, I was, a, I was a heavier kid and became really involved in football, which my weight became my identity. And once I got done playing football, I graduated high school at 235, played college ball at 250, and then quit football and didn't quit eating. But quit, you know, quit the exercise part mm -hmm. of it. So the pounds just kept creeping up, and I decided one day, this is this is not me. I don't need to be this big anymore. But we're looking at some of these photos here. Uh, <laughs> that looked like a picture of you and your dad. Yes, that was me and my dad, it, uh, right at the peak of my height, my weight. Uh, the picture right there is uh, the day before I decided that was my New Year's resolution. So that was actually on New Year's Eve, and I just I told myself, you know, when you when you see a picture like that and you're in vertical stripes, which is supposed to help the way you look, yes, <laughs> and it still doesn't do anything for you, it's time it's time for the pounds to go. What was your highest weight? Highest weight was 260. 260. Yes. So you had to go through a radical change, and oh. and, and we hear from experts, this is uh, it has to do with lifestyle, right? Agreed. And, so, and it's and it's not only the the physical part of it, but it's the mental part. And what I tell people that hear my story and want to learn how to lose weight and, and get on that that lifestyle kick, is that you want to do it for yourself more than anything. Don't do it for somebody else. Don't do it for for vanity's sake. Do it because you want to feel better. Do it for your health. Do it for the right reasons. And it's much easier to keep it off. Uh, and it's also adapting all of those, you know, like you said, the lifestyle elements where you're, you're eating healthier, you're moving your body, you're, you're taking care of yourself because you truly have, this is the, the biggest investment you have is in your mm -hmm. health. And so you have to take care of it because it's a one and done thing. Let's dive into some of the uh, more specifics here, sure. here, Rich. And let's talk about, um, because you've, for 20 years, you've had to survive the holidays. Oh, oh yes. my goodness, the, oh, yes. holidays the holidays are a trap for so many people. Yes, and I come from a big Italian extended family and we have award-winning chefs, so that is literally, it's almost like training for a marathon. You know, starting in January, I train to avoid that weight gain at the holidays because I know what's coming. Mm -hmm. I know the traps that are being set because the food is everywhere, it's fantastic, and none of it is healthy. <laughs> and so I have to make sure that I mentally prepare for the holidays, and it sounds silly, but it, it's also the choices that I've made in my life. Mm -hmm. I want to feel the way I feel all the time. Now I'm not going to say that I'm 100% a clean eater. I have my days. I fall off the wagon just like everybody else, but I've, I've installed those habits in my life that I keep it off, and it's easier to keep it off once you keep that, that consistent uh, lifestyle. We're looking at some of your points right now. The first one is portion control, number two, drinks, and number three, the, what you've mentioned already is move your body. When, you, when you're talking portion control, how do you go about choosing the sizes or uh, the portion on your plates? Sure. I usually look at, you know, Thanksgiving. We were just down in Memphis with my family for Thanksgiving. And, and like I said, there's food everywhere. So it's usually, it's nicer to enjoy two or three bites of something as opposed to saying, how much can I get on my plate? Mm -hmm. uh, and it's looking at the things that you know that are going to be a little bit healthier. So air towards the turkey, a little bit of stuffing, some fruit, things like that. Um, but really try to stay away from the desserts. But it's usually two to three bites of something that can get you to the point where you enjoy the food, but you're not making yourself sick on it. T tell our viewers, um, who are maybe thinking about the same thing about going on some sort of uh, program here to, to, to drop some, some weight here, mm -hmm. and they haven't been able to do it. Right. How can you help our viewers take the first step to a healthier way of living? Sure. You know, I, I, always, I always go the route of saying you can't get to where you want to go unless you know where you're at. So come to the understanding that you want to be healthier. Establish what your starting weight is. Um, take, you know, if you see people that do before and after pictures, that's a great idea. I mean, obviously my before pictures, everybody's seen now. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, those helped me establish where I needed to go. And it's, you know, there are a lot of quick fixes and a lot of things that you can go do that are going to help you lose weight in a week or two weeks or whatever. But for the long haul, that's where you really have to analyze what am I eating? What am I doing on a daily basis for activity? And, get that lifestyle down because the quick fixes are nice there's there's a ton of options nowadays but it's the long haul that you need to be thinking about
All right. Well, thanks for coming on and sharing your story. Always a pleasure. Yeah, always great to see you, Rich. You can read more on Rich's website. It's enrichyoursoul.org. You also connect with Rich on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we'll make sure to have uh, those links on our website at fox4kc.com. Michelle? Thanks, Nick. 921.